Hello everyone, welcome back to MATLAB programming course. So far, all of the programs and algorithms that we developed were written in such a way that you are both the user and the programmer. But the majority of the codes out there are written for third party or other people to use. Therefore, it's necessary for the programmer to be able to communicate with other people who are using the code. There are multiple functions in MATLAB which are designed for this purpose. And today we're going to learn a couple of them. One of the most important ones is input function. And this is how we use it. For example, I call a equals input open parentheses, single quotation, again, single quotation, close parentheses. In this single quotation, I can ask the user to do something for us. For example, I can ask, enter the value for A. And look what happens when I hit enter. MATLAB reflects back a question and the user is now able to put a value, for example, one here. As soon as I hit enter, the value for A will be changed to one. And I'm able to continue the rest of the code or use the value for a in new calculations. Let me repeat the input function again. And now instead of a number, I put a matrix. As soon as I hit enter, the new value for a is going to be a matrix. We're also able to use this to ask for other types of data. For example, what is your name? And I change the A value to name. When I hit enter, Malab asks, what's your name? So let's put my name here, Hossein Tutunchi. And when I hit enter, Malab reflects back an error. The reason is input is dedicated for numbers. We cannot use it for strings. However, what I can do is, let me clear the screen. What I can do is after single quotation, I can use comma, again, single quotation, S, single quotation. What it does, it tells MATLAB that now strings are also acceptable. So we can use strings instead of that number. Let's try that. What's your name? Hossein Tutunchi. Now the value for name is a string, not a number. Another useful function that we use a lot is num2str and we write it this way, num2str. So what it does, it changes the type of a number to a string. Let me show you how does it work. x equals 1 through 3, and this is a vector, right? y equals, again, 1 through 3, and when I hit enter, you see that y is also a vector. I am fully able to add these two together. However, if I use x equals num to str of x, what it does, it returns the x as before, but if I type x plus y now, you see that we're not able to do that. This x is no longer a vector. It is now an a string. Let me clear the screen. In this part, I'm going to write a program to calculate the, the area of a triangle. However, we want to ask the user to enter the values for the base and height of the triangle in middle of the program. So let's see how we can do that. Open the script. Here I type in this script, I am developing a program to ask the user to enter 
the values for base and height of the triangle to calculate the area. First, B equals base. B equals, I ask the user to enter the value for the for the base. Next, H is input. H is height. So H equals input enter the value for height close parentheses and semicolon not to reflect back the values for B and H and then in this part the area half multiplied by H multiplied by B. At the end, we're going to use this to show the value that we're searching for. The value for area is... And now, we're going to use the num2str because we could find the value for triangle area here. Now I can change that to num to str value, open parenthesis and close parenthesis. What it does, it reflects back this string and then continues that with num to str, which is also an string resulting from this value. Then we close the parenthesis and because we had two values to show, we put it in brackets like that. Let's test it. First of all, we save it, give it the name like, we can put triangle area script. And then we save it. Then we can run it here or call the name there. Let's go this way. I run it. Now the MATLAB asks, enter the value for the base. Hit enter. Now enter the value for height. It's going to be 8. And then enter. And you see that the value for the area is 20. We could successfully develop a script that a third person also can communicate with and enter the value and get the result. Many of the sophisticated programs and games and apps that ask questions during the operation use the same principle. Thank you very much and I see you next video.